Peace, love, shalom, fam. I want to talk to you very briefly uh, on this topic called love is strength, hatred is weakness. Love is strength, hatred is weakness. Love is strength, hatred is weakness. You know, a lot of the time we are taught by society, even sometimes by our own parents, our own siblings, is you don't be weak, you know. Um, sometimes we teach our children to not own up to our responsibility, meaning like if you did something wrong, sometimes they even teach. They, I've heard of people even um, as far as teaching people, don't apologize. You ain't never sorry. I heard that before. Um, there's been situations and instances where uh, people will, for, for an example, say you're in a relationship with somebody and you hurt them and you hurt them extremely bad. Are they supposed to call you first? Are they supposed to um, reach out to you first all the time? But sometimes people feel like because you are the man that the woman, you should always go after her. The woman should never come after you for no circumstance. And I totally disagree with that. Because what you're doing is, is you're teaching that child or you're teaching your sister or you're teaching your cousin you're teaching them to store up pride and you're teaching them that they can do whatever they want to do and get away with it the same way as I, me personally I have a nephew and if he does something he's not supposed to do in front of me I'm going to say something if I don't say anything he's going to he's not going to see anything wrong with what he's doing so that's why it's very necessary to uh, confront the situation if I never know what I'm doing wrong or if I never recognize what I'm doing wrong, how will I change? Uh, like what what changes will, will I truly make? You know, what will I do to better myself if I feel like everything I do and say is right? If I'm yelling and screaming at my girlfriend and I'm wrong about it and she keeps chasing me and calling me back, I'll never see the wrong in what I'm doing and saying. And if the same vice versa for, for, the, for the other one. That's why a lot of children turn out really bad when they don't have anybody to uh, hold them accountable for anything. God set that up from the beginning. But when you have a good heart, that doesn't mean that you're weak because you have a good heart and you always reach out first sometime or you just always seem to, 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 to always want to love first. That doesn't mean that you're weak. What it means is you need the spirit of God to give you what you call heart management. Because when you have a good heart, you didn't get that good heart on your own. God gave you that good heart. But we have to use that good heart and under the management ship of God's spirit. Anytime you want to use your good heart outside of God's spirit and according to your own desires and your own wants. Now that's a recipe for danger. And see what happens is, is that Satan fools you into using that good heart outside of God's management to get you hurt, to get you used, to get you walked all over. So then that way the devil can open up that platform to talk to you. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're weak. You're weak. You, 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 you need to be more hard. You know, you need to show people that I'm not calling you first. I'm not kissing nobody's behind. This, that, third, da, 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 da. And it just adds on, adds on. And then what? It stores up pride. It stores up anger. It, it, it makes the person very bitter inside and now you can't get them to apologize to anybody because now in their mind I'm not weak I've been weak for too long and I will not allow anything to make me look any weaker or feel any weaker than I already feel so now they're destroying relationships they're destroying family relationships now they they, they destroy their relationship with God sometimes they don't want to cry out to God first you know, they feel like God's supposed to always be reaching out to them all, all the time. And some of these things are, I'm not just talking just to be making videos. Some of these things are out of experience. I was very prideful at one point with, with my ex-girlfriends and all that stuff. You know, I'm, and it was because I had been hurt. I had a great heart. You know, and my mom would always warn me about certain girls like, oh, J Jamel, you better be careful with this and be careful with that one. And I never wanted to listen. I wanted her to move on my own term and then love on my own term. And then I wound up getting hurt. And then when I get hurt, I want to get angry. And I want to get angry and I want to be spiteful. Then, you know, now I'm dishing out all that pain that was received to me. And then now the devil gets in. And I said before, the wounds of mankind 
are the devil's entrance. A lot of people that are hurt, that's how the devil get in to even use you. That's how Satan needs a body. He needs a body. Demons don't have bodies. They need a body to get into so they can utilize their power, so they can do what they want to do. When you see the actions of, of war, when you see people raping each other, these people killing each other and, 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 and people being uh, deceitful, stealing, you know, these are not the acts of mankind. These are the acts of demonic spirits that get into human bodies and act out what they really want to act out. Satan's only job is to destroy humanity. Why would Satan want to destroy humanity? What for? Like, like why? Well, think about this. If you had a girlfriend or you had a boyfriend and you have a kingdom, you rebel against that husband or you rebel against that wife and they pretty much throw you out and create somebody that they even make look better than you. And you make them in your own image of what you like. You're going to be angry at the at the person that created it. You're going to be angry at the entire kingdom that um, supported it. You're going to be angry at the entire race of what was created. So now to get back at that person that, that you feel hurt you because you want to rebel. Now you're going to destroy everything that they create and whatever seed that they have. The same thing goes for us. Satan had it all in the beginning. All. I mean, I, can't, I don't have that much time to go into it, but the devil had everything, everything, everything. And he let it get up here and he got here. The iniquity was found in him, thrown out. Now he has no place. Now here's the earth. God makes the heavens and the earth. God makes the earth. Okay. Satan didn't have dominion over the earth yet. Until Adam fell. Adam had to fall. In order for Satan to get dominion. Which is why Satan tricked Adam into doing what he did. To get dominion over the earth. Which is what brings sin into the, sin into the earth. People say, well, if God loves us, why would he create us to suffer? Why did he let sickness be here? Why? These are just the side effects of sin. And a lot of the time, the stuff that you see... Usually, it's because it's the free will of humanity. If I come up to you and knock you upside your head, did God let me do that? Or was that my free will? That was my free will. But I'll be judged accordingly to what I just done. If I hit you, I will be judged by the Father, especially if it was for no reason. I will be judged accordingly for what I just did. And there's no way around that. There's no way around it. You will reap what you sow. But here we go back to pride again. You know, me being very prideful, it messed up a lot of relationships. It messed up a lot of friendships, you know, and, and that pride became a demon. And it started to rule my life. It started to rule me. And, and I didn't want to listen to anybody. I had in my mind made up. I'm not going to let nobody hurt me anymore. I'm not going to let nobody talk to me type of way anymore. I will never chase after a woman. She going to this, she going to that. And see, it just messed up everything. It just messed up everything. If you're wrong own up to it. If you're wrong, take responsibility. I don't care if you're a woman, man, boy, or girl. If you do something to hurt somebody, the correct thing to do, if they allow you to, is to call them up or whatever the case may be, talk to them and apologize and move forward from it. Now, the other person, you need to be holding on to it, driving it into the ground. The way that I am now, I'm totally different than what I used to be. Because before... Pride was my middle name, Jamel Pride Edward Hills. I was not bowing to no one. Now I'm not saying to to, to just you 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 know um, be a butt kisser and, and just run behind everybody that you see or every time you see somebody they feel hurt about every little thing you. Run. That's not what I mean. I mean cutting down the pride. Because it takes strength to cut down your pride and to kill your flesh. That takes strength to do that. Love take strength how do I know this how, how do I know that love takes strength pick up the phone right now and call somebody that did something to you and tell them that you love them if you can't do that you're still weak and you need God to help soften you up and to strengthen you the Bible says if somebody hits you you turn the other cheek 
Now, we all ain't there. I ain't sitting here talking like I'm all there because I still struggle, but I'm a lot better than what I used to be, and I'm still growing, and I'm happy about my growth. But I have come to a point now, if I hurt somebody, hey, listen, man. Hey, listen, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I was just going through at the time, and, and then I try to make sure it don't happen again. Even if I slip. Nope. Stop yourself immediately. Oh, I'm, I really, really apologize. I'm so sorry for how I talked to you. That wasn't right. You know, I, it's not right for me to take out on you what I'm going through. And then I make that total change from there. Um, but love is strength. You know, look at what God did for us. God could have easily said, I gave these clowns everything in the beginning from the garden of, of um, Eden. And they still don't want to submit to my word. And a lot of them still ain't going to come back to me. So I'm not giving nothing to them. I'm not giving them nothing. No, he wasn't prideful at all. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, which means this is, a, this is still a choice. It's still a choice. Whosoever believes in him, they will not perish but have everlasting life. And that he still went through all of that knowing knowing that people would still go to other religions, people would still hate him, people would become atheists. Think about it. Answer questions on the platform to belief. Unanswered questions is the open door to unbelief. Let me say this again. Answered questions is a platform of belief. Unanswered questions Listen, unanswered questions are the open door to disbelief. A lot of people don't believe in God because a lot of questions are unanswered. Think about it. A lot of people do not believe in God because of the lack of evidence. When there's really evidence all around you, I still don't understand that, but whatever. But you get my gist. You get what I'm trying to say to you. So when you allow God, when see, but how can he answer questions for you if you never humble yourself to seek him, to figure out what, whatever. The, a lot of questions are just now, but I've been serving God for almost over 10 years and, and maybe even, no, I've been serving God for about 17 years and, and I could tell you something. I done been through some ups and downs. I done got angry with God. There's times I felt like I hated God. So I'm not sitting here talking like I've been Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized all my life because I done fell in and out. I done straddled the fence. I, I, I done backslid. I done did it all. So I know as young, for me to be so young, I've had a big experience with God and, and knowing a lot of things from experience and from also getting, di from getting uh, direct knowledge and wisdom from him. You know, so I say this to say this, be strong and love your enemies. Ask God to show you how to love your enemies. You know, at, let God manage that big heart of yours so that it could be directed in the right ways that, that he would like to use it. Because a big heart can save a lot of lives. You don't have to cut off your big heart. But it's very important. It's very important. It's very, very important to let God utilize that big heart. Because having too big of a heart can get you hurt in relationships. Having too big of a heart can get you set up and killed. Uh, too, for having too, big, too much big of a heart can get you uh, um, misused and taken advantage of. It can cause a lot, man. But if you do it the right way. If you do it the right way, God will take care of you. Let go of anger. Let go of your pride. Let go of your own plans. Let God take over. Because I mean, God is doing some tremendous things with me. There's some new stuff coming with the music. There's some new stuff coming with me even speaking. I'm even be be beginning to get a little bit more confident enough to start speaking in front of people. And, and I'm actually beginning to like this. I'm actually beginning to love this because it's nothing better than assisting people. This is not me getting up here trying to show you what I know. and, and, and No, no, no. I really like to help people because I know how I felt. A lot of my questions being unanswered. And that's one of the questions was like, Lord, that's questions that I was asking. If you're God Almighty, how are you letting innocent children be killed? How are you giving children cancer? But then it's like something just downloaded to me like these my son are the side effects of sin the side effects of sin the wages of sin is death that's what the bible says the wages of sin is death 
It's death. It's death. That's why Jesus had to die. How could a man be God? Why would a man have to come here for? How can a man save the world? Adam faced a temptation. And he failed. That free will, he failed. So Jesus came. Yeshua. I like to call him Yeshua because that's his real name. Yeshua came and passed the test that Adam didn't so that we can have eternal life in heaven. Why would if, if he's God, why 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 would he need to be tested? Why would he need to be tempted for? It was all a part of the plan. He had to do, he had to go through the same thing Adam went through in order to win us back. There's no other answer out there but God. No other answer, no other way. I've went to almost every religion there is. I've done everything I can to run away from him. And he always kept pulling me back. Pulling me back, pulling me back, pulling me back. And I'm not afraid to proclaim his name anymore. I'll still do music. I'll still be an entertainer, but I will not forsake. Hey, you have Muslim entertainers out here. You and I'm not attacking anybody. You have Muslim entertainers. You 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 have Buddhist entertainers out here. I even now see Muslim people working out now. Women with hijab song working out, and people are so supportive of that. And they don't say don't bring religion in this, but here I am, a follower of the way. That's it, a follower of the way. So I don't want to hear anything. I should be able to freely share. And still get the same support. If not, I understand. But I have to take the stand. I'm not going to be up here preaching all the time about God, 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 God. God, 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 God. No. I'll do a mixture of different things, you know. There may be a time I just want to just talk to you about relationships. So I just may just want to just talk to you in general. Or there might be times that I may want to speak to you about what God is saying to my heart. Or how I'm feeling about something. Or maybe I might want to share a podcast concerning God and the belief in God. And proof that God is real and proof he exists. And start showing you different things of the world. And, and, and showing you how Satan is beginning to deceive the whole nation. And, you know, just different things I want to bring to YouTube. I'm that multi-guy. I do more one thing but i should be able to come here and share just hear me out man you you might learn something you you might feel something you just might just give it a little time but i'm telling you god loves you all um love is strength hatred is weakness so peace love shalom i love all of you goodbye enjoy the remainder of your day because i know i am